Hi everyone, this is Gabriel of Inside Human Rights. I have a special video for you today because I won't be doing the talking. While I was in Cuba, I interviewed Jackie Martis. She's a sociologist and human rights advocate from Curaçao. But before we get into the video about her work, I kind of need to apologize. This was the first video I've ever recorded outdoors and well, the quality, it shows. There's a reason I have closed caption enabled on this video. Um, but I took the opportunity, I've spliced in other shots that I took of what life is like in Cuba, and so I hope you can enjoy those as while you're listening to this interview from this very interesting person. Hello everyone, I am speaking to you here from Havana, Cuba. I'm here for a conference on women in the 21st century. I apologize for the noise in the background, uh, we're next to a busy street, um, but you can see some beautiful garden behind us that uh, sadly you can't enjoy like we are. Um, I am here next to Jackie Murphy, who is a sociologist from Curaçao, and I am going to talk to her a little bit about how human rights plays a role in her work. So first, Jackie, if you don't mind introducing yourself, what is okay. you do? Um, as you just said, my name is Jackie Murphy. I am a sociologist. I work in the government. I, do, I work on international treaties for the ventures, and I do gender for the, the government. I work at the Ministry of social development, labor, and welfare uh, for the island of Curaçao, which is, um, if you don't know Curaçao, it's in the Caribbean, and it's one of the Dutch islands. And now, Jackie, what does human rights mean to you, and how does it affect your work, hopefully in a positive way? Yes. The, for me, human rights is basically about human beings, a person, from the moment you are born to when you die, being able to exercise this right, never to be very military, to be free to develop and evolve and be who they are, truly be who they are, without people or institutions or the state or whoever telling you that you can't because you're a woman, you can't because you're a child, um, you can't because you're gay or you don't define yourself, you can't because you're black or you're too old. So that for me is important to be able to and develop and exercise your freedoms and rights no matter who you are and where you come from or how old you are, how sick you are or how healthy you are and all that. So that is important. Fantastic. And is, have human rights been a powerful tool to help realize all that in Curaçao? Yes, uh, it has. We have, Curaçao is very small. <laughs> we have around 150,000 people, but um, for, for um, Small island as it is, we have a Amnesty International chapter, a very small chapter. I'm part of that uh, organization. But we have many uh, human rights and, and women and children organizations that are working on human rights. And it is not difficult to talk about it. People understand human rights, but it's more difficult putting it in practice when there is limited resources. So the economy and money and the whole system and we're part of a colonized world kingdom so that is important so what happens is that the human beings and people's needs and poverty which grows every day is not a priority for the government so that's why you have a lot of organizations that have to come up and, and be the watchdog and put pressure on the government to do what it's supposed to do because the government is the first one the first um, Called to do to make sure to create the possibility of people enjoying their rights and their freedom. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this special video from Inside Human Rights. Uh, sadly, there won't be many more coming from Havana, Cuba, but uh, in my travels, I hope to interview more amazing people like Jackie here. Jackie, thank you again for your time. No, thank you for inviting me. It's 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 fun. Great. Well, that's it. If you've liked the videos, click subscribe for many more videos from Inside Human Rights. Otherwise, bye bye.